All right, Alex, this is from last uh, weekend, and I wanted you to see see several things here. I want to show you, I want you to go back and look at this, and then I want you to look at this one here. This is Austin Barrett, Smyrna Kid. Has a very similar build. I want you to watch his front shoulder. Okay, watch his front shoulder. Go back and look at the first two and watch front shoulder, front elbow, and just look at the difference. I mean, we're kind of, I'm going to start from the top. And I want to see if you're making any adjustments to that. When you swing, you've got to almost like keep your elbow closer to your, to your rib cage. And right now it's just flying away from your rib cage. And the reason for that is it shortens your swing and it makes your uh, bat speed faster. <clears throat> when your toe touches the ground here, your heel should be slightly in front of your foot. And then that, that'll keep your hips closed. But as you notice, I mean, your hips start to open with your foot still about four or five inches off the ground. I mean, you can watch your, your left hip it's opening and you can see your it's right it's opening right as your foot hits the ground I want you to go back and look at the first part of this video now Austin is just it's a good example because he had so many things uh, wrong with his swing like most kids um, you know there there's some things that you're improving on you know, I think you're getting more of a, a, you know, you're learning how to step into the, you know, taking a little bit of a step versus just kind of rolling your foot uh, forward. You know, you're getting a little bit uh, of your hips into it. But if you'll, you'll notice is when you start your load, um, right here, when you first start your load, you're coming towards the plate. If you bring your knee and turn your femur and basically bring your knee to knee it's going to close your hips and then you just got to learn that when you touch the ground when your foot comes here and touches the ground you've got to have your heel in front of your foot in front of your toes and just leave it there okay and then when your heel comes down then your foot's going to turn into about a 45 degree angle right now you're, you're, there's no turn See, it turned right there just a little bit after your foot hit the ground. So you re really aren't using your hips at all to generate any power. I'm going to superimpose here on a couple of, uh, or one swing here. I'm going to superimpose uh, your swing on top of a swing that you did when on the first lesson several weeks ago. And you, you're going to see that you haven't really done a whole lot and then I'm going to show you a, an example of how you get your back hip. You know, we're, we're still working on your front foot not getting, not being so closed. And if you see the one with no hat, that's the other day. And this, the first one, I mean, you can see they're almost identical. Hip, your elbow's still going open. You've got to keep that front elbow down. You've got to use your, your lower half better. You see how he's getting his knee to his knee? Toe comes down and that back foot comes forward that's what we've got to start generating in you that's what your body has got to start generating alright go back and look at this video over and over again don't just do it one or two times look at the other guys and what they're doing and I will see you again this Saturday